Hi guys, this is going to be a reading. Let's see who this is going to be for. Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius. be Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus for July 6th through July 13th, general message, whatever it is Sagittarius needs to hear this week, let's see what's going on, Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus, please, so this message is Looking a lot like Leo's. Okay. Let us words air energy. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Cups here. So two players, and they are not really looking at each other. Um, someone's more in the feeling, someone's more in their head. Both wanting some kind of change and to be able to. See, I, I do have peace in the environment. So two people trying to keep the peace until the next step. But there's some boredom here and there may be some third party involvement. Mm, that's interesting. So let's see more about this this week, Sag. There's a lot going on, let's see. The Emperor Aries energy. Yeah, this is looking a lot like Leo's reading. Interesting indeed. So there might be someone that's kind of be controlling the father figure, maybe some kind of boss, or someone that wants to be the boss. And they're really in their ego, not able to really trust their gut and see that the way that they're carrying on is actually kind of hostile. It's like whoever this person you're dealing with, uh, they can't read the room. A lot of sadness, disappointment, and grief when this person's around. And it's like they bring out insecurities and fears that are needing to be processed and gotten over because they're blocking some kind of progress for things to move forward. Um, this person controls things and they manipulate. What is this? Sag. Let me go grab the sage. So the reverse three of cups. I feel like this is some kind of third party involvement or someone that if it's not a third party it's someone that you definitely are not in union with um you and this person are in some kind of separation an emotional detachment and it could be maybe someone that you co-parent with um but whoever it is they're trying to play with your emotion they're playing mind games involving you and maybe like a child or maybe you and somebody else you feel very close to um stay a child because we have the page of pentacles virgo capricorn taurus it's like this person is behaving emotionally immaturely and they're trying to control some kind of narrative this week and they're playing with emotions knight of cups and they may even be talking and telling somebody else uh, another person things that aren't true to try to stir things up because this person's hurt and that doesn't make it right for them to do what they're doing but i feel like this person is someone that's hurt and scorned and they're needing healing and there's some kind of sense of betrayal and a setback that you experience with this person. Yeah, and things weren't working out and now they're not wanting to be a team player anymore. 
say more about this situation. What's what a, what is really gonna happen? What is this person really gonna be doing this week? This sad, this unhappy third party energy. And I say third party as the name that they are your lover, secret lover. This is just someone that um is just another character in that life. Um, Page of Pentacles came out again with the lovers and the two of swords. They're, they're making someone make some kind of decision. And again, I feel like it's a child. But there's somebody that's trying to um, play really... Um, it's like they're taking advantage of a situation where someone can't see the full scope of things. So they kind of have like made someone feel like the choices they they like they need to choose if they think or feel more like it's like someone's making a child pick sides um this week and yeah things are gonna be okay things are gonna move forward the way they need to but there's gonna be some kind of drama and if it's not a child it's with a job or a pet or someone you are spending or you want to spend time in energy with but it's a um difficult situation and for some of you it may could be a third party lover but it's not an equal give and take in the dynamic and so that's why things are kind of blocked and i feel like there's another person that is holding this person back from you and they're not letting them talk to you and they may even try to make it feel make it seem like this person doesn't make it they, they don't try to portray it like you don't really love this person or you had something other else better to do instead of choosing this person or this situation or they're going to try to question your values and how you spend your time and energy tell me more about this knight of swords for Sagittarius this week, please. The Fool and the Empress. So, Aries energy, also Taurus Libra energy. Um, there's something about a new beginning with like a marriage or a soulmate, someone that's like a mother and nurturing energy. But there's someone that is being really childish and immature because of something that they feel excluded from. And it's about a relationship or a spiritual love commitment that's emotionally um, compatible. And someone feels that there was some shadiness or something that they need to defend about it. And there was probably some miscommunication in the past or bad communication it could have been some verbal conflicts between the whoever is representative of the fool and whoever is the empress i feel like it's an aries and a libra but um yeah there's some kind of conflict i feel like between some people that might not even be you sad but you're kind of caught in the middle of this <laughs> bless it so What's going on with this King of Cups? What's going on with the King of Cups for Sagittarius? So the Three of Wands. So something you were waiting on or looking forward to, you were trying to make some moves, but it's like you're having to kind of hold off for a moment on it, even though you care a lot about it. Um, there's something about you're in this mental um prison of yours where you're having some kind of constraints that are blocking you in and it's some kind of delusion smoke or mirrors that you're seeing someone become entangled into because of um somebody that is kind of toxic or obsessive that's like i said kind of control this person that's waiting on you like there's somebody that's waiting on you like maybe a female Again, I feel like it may be a child for some of you or maybe a friend or something or family member, but there's someone that's waiting on you and they're being kind of um, restricted as they wait with that emperor. And that emperor is represented by the 
five of swords so again there was some kind of there may be some kind of um words that are passed between people maybe three people and um there may be some bitterness there may be some um manipulation going on there but the truth will be you know recognized and whoever it is you care a lot about they'll know that you're trying to cooperate and be a team player and they they know the truth don't worry about it like they know that there's somebody involved that is about drama and they know it but they also care about this person too like if someone you feel like you're caught in the middle of something and whoever this other person is they feel like they're caught in the middle of some drama too and honestly sometimes you and this other third party feel like they y'all just wish it could just be y'all and not the other chaos and drama but it's all like the person that's involved with whoever is restricting them like you care about them too and you're having to choose and it's kind of like the justice card here the libra you choose Libra energy, justice, you choose fairness, you choose balance, you choose to have your heart and your emotions in, in check with one another, checks and balances, like you you get the situation under control somehow. And um, you find peace, and whoever this other person is, they find peace too, and there's recognition, there's attention, there's awareness, like they know you would never give up on them. And again, I feel like this is a child. For some of you, this may be a daughter, or it could be a son, but there is success, there's happiness, there's positive and good vibes that are achieved. So tell me more about this three of cups in reverse for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Why do we have the three of cups in reverse? because of the queen of swords so again more libra aquarius and gemini energy a conversation um with somebody that may be a little bitter a little sharp um that is just not communicating in the best manner um it gets bitch energy someone that got left behind or maybe that you left or walked away from and they're hurt um there was some lies, some insecurities, some subconscious fears. Like this person has some things that they need to address um, on a deep and dark level. Um, and they're not exactly what you want. <laughs> You're with who you want, I hear. And um, there's, like I said, some kind of communication that's had that, you know, brings things into balance here we are temperance that's sagittarius energy like i said you get things in alignment you create balance you're able to you know use your gifts to create the vibe and environment that you want you're able to kind of you know flow right on out of the chaos that this person is trying to create like you already kind of know the vibes and you know how to like it's not your first rodeo i'm hearing and you're able to still be the adult in this situation so tell me more about the lovers yeah the moon came out again pisces energy you have awareness like you've conquered these demons already like you don't have to sit here it's like like i said king of cups you've already Men, you know emotionally matured past whatever is going on here and you're able to not let this throw you off balance emotionally and just kind of be able to make a mature decision from again a place of peace like you pray you meditate about it like you don't let this person disturb your peace because that's what this person wants to do they want to involve you in this toxic devil energy and you're like no like i rebuke it god i'm gonna win i'm gonna overcome this and you do so that is beautiful. Yeah, see, King of Wands, Knight of Swords again. You, you take action and you, you know, address this the correct way, the way that it needs to be articulated. And 
you're in that king of swords like you're you know you know exactly how to address this person and get them in their mind right in order for everyone to be back into the two of cups and for there to be emotional you know everybody gets what they want <laughs> but you're gonna have to be some kind of mediator and you're gonna need to talk to god about you know the patience you're gonna need to have with this person that's gonna try to throw you off balance this week um, be prepared and know that you, you're able to overcome any obstacles and adversities that come your way. This person, they, I'm here and they know exactly where to strike when they want to try to go for a world war because they behave foolishly and they're gonna have to fool this week. So be prepared for that, Sag. Wish it was a better message, but I feel like this was a good one because it's a warning. If you guys let me know down below in the comments if you feel like something's brewing that may sound like your situation. So just like, hit that thumbs up if you like the content. Hit that subscribe button because it can get pretty entertaining over here. Okay, it's that sand. So what we're doing now, guys, is getting you some moon oil for advice for the week. Um, time to breathe out this emanating moon told you like it's time to breathe it's time to take action new moon aries i feel like it may be an aries that's gonna try to or someone has strong aries placements that's gonna try to um, be in the mix this week let's see um but definitely relax don't let this person create like this unnecessary pressure because that's all they want is a reaction you're very close to achieving your goal, so don't let anyone disrupt you or throw you off balance because you're making a lot of people happy. And just because one person or a set of people don't agree with you or aren't happy with how you're doing things now without them, don't matter. Luck is on your side, the moon in Sagittarius. So no matter what, just you know, be the bigger person, better person, no matter what, the better person, um, even if you can't be the bigger person. <laughs> and know that, you know, there's nothing that's going to be standing in your way because luck is on your side. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon, and cancer. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Again, I hope you guys have a, a great week, even though, you know, there may be some things, some oppositions you have to push past and move forward cherry energy cancer season so until next time guys love and laughs